I was still on Alien. Martin Bauer had left. I was revamping the miniatures to go over to LA to be displayed in the uh, premiere screening in LA. And uh, Fox gave me all the money in the world. And the models were in a bad state, uh, especially the Nostromo refinery. So I said, well, I want you know, 250 TIE fighters and blah, blah, blah. I got all these kits in. And I thought, yeah, this is how I would like to have done it at the time. I mean, the, I was part of a team. It wasn't the, just me that did that. But suddenly I'm on my own and I was unlimited budget. And I had a chippy there, a carpenter who made all the crates. So I was sticking all these bits on and he made the crates and we sent them off to LA. That was it. And then I, I got a phone call about Flash Gordon and it was Richard Conway who had given me my first job at the BBC on Doctor Who. And he said, yeah, got this um, Flash Gordon thing over at Shepparton. Do you fancy getting involved in it? So I had a weekend off from Alien and then moved straight on to Flash Gordon. And it was a complete and utter mess. Martin Bauer joined us, uh, John Sorensen, who was on a Alien. Uh, John didn't last long on it. Uh, I think he he saw the, the writing on the wall. I lasted, uh, Martin and myself lasted about nine months, eight, eight, nine months doing the stuff. The majority of what we built never made it to the screen. It was being changed all the time. Uh, they had a UK art department and an Italian art department. And, you know, beautiful stuff. Uh, Dante Ferretti, you know, you know the nice images. But it was the, at that time in the UK, if they employed outside uh, of the UK, comp, uh, you know, individuals, they had to replicate them with a, a UK team. So they, uh, Dino brought all his family and friends over from Italy and that amount of crew had to be replicated here. And it was, uh, it was quite difficult to contend with because it, both art departments were very, very talented but it was just knowing which ones to actually go with, you know, which instructions. Do I go with the Italians or do I go with the Brits? Uh, and, uh, it, was a, it was a difficult production because it, when we all went on board, we thought it was going to be a very serious version of the black and white trailers, uh, you know, the, the Saturday morning serials, and suddenly it's this camp send up, and you go, right, okay, we'll go with this, and by the end of it, uh, after nine months, we were in a hangar out at Brooklyn's uh, racetrack where they made the uh, couple of the Concords. Uh, we were in a hangar and they were hanging hawk men from the ceiling. And we were in a, a very small shed with one heater in the middle of winter. And the hawk men, you know, we had no room to complain. The hawk men were freezing their and everything else off, 
hanging at the top of this uh, hangar and we said enough that was it we, we we've done our time on the production and we never expected it to be you know very good I, it, we always thought it would look good uh, the outlandish colours and poor old Sam having his voice uh, dubbed and uh, so many stories uh, before it came out but we thought yeah it, it will find an audience it's not one of my favourites uh, favourites out of all of them Alien because I didn't really have the experience. I, I floundered on Aliens, but I was given a, a supervisor's credit, and that was through Ridley. Uh, so I'm thankful to him for that. And uh, Moon. Uh, they are the, the two that I feel I contributed to the most. The rest, uh, there's been, you know, big teams involved. And I can't take that much credit. But I think uh, Alien and Moon, uh, there was a lot of me in both of them. And that's, that's what I'm happy with.